right? All right, let's see. Do my guns have ammo? Oh, my guns have ammo. Is this golden? It's golden. <laughs> then we're golden. Get on the train. Oh, whoops. Ah. Uh. And we were off. I felt like I might be able to recharge for a second. At least until we pulled into the station and met more murderous assholes. Don't, don't, don't nap though. Oh shit! <laughs> Bitch. Didn't work out like that. No way! Jump trains! Goons trying to derail me. It won't work that way. Oh, whoa, there's a gun here. Perfect. Dude, I'm sliding everywhere. It's kind of awesome. I'm at the front of the train. I gotta go back. Where do you get those pills, Max? Not sure, but keep jumping. It only gets cooler. These guys, I gotta melee at least one of these. Perfect. Everyone wanted a ticket for the Max Payne Express. Oh shit. Yeah, I know you see me, dude. Get up! Oh Gas mask. Squirt freak. <laughs> that speedy reload. Ah. Oh. Oh shit! There's so many guys. Pretty silly, Max. Try again. Yeah, smother this guy. Oh, the momentum of the train carried him. Holy shit. Turn, 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 turn. Ah. I was waiting. I shot too early. I think I only had like one bullet left. The problem is weapons as well. I don't have a lot of weapons. Oh, is that a shotgun? Oh, it is! <laughs> I want to see him travel.
Oh, I hope his, his arm. Oh, I wish his arm broke the window. Oh, the momentum. Get up, punk! I felt like I'd missed out on the joke. And it was a real good one. Oh, please tell me I have to jump trains. Don't do it in the cutscene, Max. Don't do it in the cutscene. Ah! <laughs> He didn't even really time that, holy crap! The balls on this motherfucker! Shit! That's empty. It's the last guy. Oh no, there's two guys. Oh, we're pulling into the station. Farewell, worm food! Wait, can I go outside and then kill him from the side? You know what? Let's do that. No, I can't jump out of the train. Oh, he's injured. What the? What? <laughs> what? Okay, bro. <laughs> he bled out. I must have hit his artery in his leg. Oh, shit. Stop. Oh, it's a plot door. <laughs> it's a plot door. It had taken me right into the heart of it. Becker's gimps were everywhere, so he and Bronco must be close. The smart move would have been sticking with De Silva and going straight to the hangar. Wow, how but oblivious. was I ever about smart moves? I'm a dumb move guy. Hey, Max, we'll drive onto the runway. No thanks. Let me walk in the main entrance. I'll put a big shit-eating grin on my face and let these assholes take turns trying to kill me. That's my style, and it's too late in the day to hope for change. No way. Oh, you're gonna... Yes. I'm throwing numbers at this problem. But then, I'd chosen to be here. I wanted this. Was it redemption? No, you not just love really. killing Brazilians. It was pathetic desperation, and not much else. The further in I got, the more guys I saw. Becker wasn't running a police force. He was running an army. These guys were better trained and better equipped than anyone I'd seen out here. And I'd seen some mean sons of bitches. The mission was screaming suicide, but I didn't give a damn. At least I'd die being a pain in the ass. A major. A maximum pain in the ass. Nah. <laughs> that doesn't work there that well. There the bastards were. Sneaking off in their rich kid's toy. Oh, Max. To go, Becker. Mr. Payne, I believe you had something to say to me. Bate ele! Bate ele agora! No! 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 Oh, shit! Sweet Jesus! Oh! Per oh! <laughs> Oh, did I get I got too close to him so an, an instant a fail animation happened? What? Really? I can't I can't do my silly jump. I really want to do the silly jump. This is how I, I hope to kill all these guys. Do the silly jump. Ah! It's insta fail if you approach him. That's lame. The stairs were made to jump from. Okay. Oh, do I have to use the cover system? No! 
Don't tell me I have to use the cover system. Oh, I'm mid jump. You can't kill me mid jump. This is so lame. This is so lame. I, there's nowhere. I have to use a stupid fucking cover system. I've tried not to use it the whole game, but now it's forcing it on me. I could probably kill a guy like this. Not dead enough. Not for my liking. You Lomax, you're just another gringo trying to close his will on our world. I just want to do my job, brother. Can I blow up the vehicle? Shit! Down, just down the pistols. alive. There's some pills here. Oh wait, is that my bro? Shit! words taking seed in every nation shit you know what i kind of feel like one though the brazilians are scared to ever have american on their soil again at least sao paulo <laughs> tourism's closed here what <laughs> i'll piss in your brazilian pool Apparently it's just pissing in an ocean of piss. Oh. Who's the fucker in the car? Oh, they're enemies! the last one. Ah, he only got one bullet. That's all he needed. Oh! <laughs> it's cutscene scripted to be used like that. It's perfect. Oh, that's how he lost his arm. Okay. What a joke of a last boss. I hope Victor is the real last boss, but I, I doubt he is. <laughs> this was it. It was almost over. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product, and you get what you pay for. And these <laughs> no chumps paid had for paid for that. some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. Oh! Oh, I had an option to shoot him? 
<laughs> it's hard to tell what's cutscene and what is it. Drive. We had drive left to play. Just get me close. Whatever. I got an achievement for it. Serves him right. He killed himself. What? I'm in the passenger side, dumbass. Come on, got a flight to catch. It's not going to. We're taking damage. We're taking. <laughs> what a line! That about soaks it up. That music is wholly inappropriate, but whatever. Ah, oh, that, that might hit you. No, I hope it kills that guy to our life. I'm gonna kill us. No, I did it. Ah, <laughs> oh, I did it end up killing the bad guys. Come on, there's fall off. We're getting hit. If he can... That's them. <laughs> He's sitting himself. Your career's coming down with that plane. Let's get it over with. Now I want to shoot it right at his window. Oh, oh I can't. Close. He's taking a starring role, pal. Woo, boy! Did I also blow up that incoming Boeing when all the passengers? Did I or no? I, I can't. I couldn't tell, but I. <laughs> I think I killed like 150 innocents. <laughs> That's about the occupancy of one of those things. Wait, oh, yeah. Max! No! No, I got my hand on it. No, 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 no. You see? Stop, Max! We, we what are you gonna do? Arrest me? Let him enjoy a trial and a spell in prison. And your corrupt country? Let him suffer. Trust me. Please shoot. Oh, I'm clicking. <laughs> I didn't have an option on this son of a bitch. You know I'll walk. You'll walk with a lift. Okay, that's something. That's kind of half-assed, Max. <laughs> that's weird for him to have help in his finale. That's that's a first. But that kind of diminishes him overcoming his own demons when he's driven to the end boss. But whatever, man. Fuck the plot. Keep the change, bro. Oh. That might not have any liquor, I hope. Meanwhile, Victor Bronco, the politician at the center of the scandal, who is accused of laundering money from the scheme to fund his political campaign for mayor, was yesterday found hanged in his police cell. It's not yet clear whether his death was a suicide or simply retribution for his part in a scandal that has so many families missing loved ones that were kidnapped and killed. Convenient things worked out that way, Max. Local justice. Are we going to another club, Max? Oh wait, no, that, that was the end. They gave me a little epilogue just so I felt good, not about about not killing that guy. 
You know, I would have been felt better if we ended up killing him ourselves. That was what? There wasn't any even, like, cathartic moment at the end where, like, Max Payne realized that life was worth living or anything. No! We, we really just went to Brazil and killed the Brazilian Brazilians. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, the the credits are satisfying. I mean, what an ending! What a sorry ending! I mean, that that was the moment. If there was any moment for Max Payne to have a long-winded monologue, that was it. But he had nothing to say. In fact, he went back to drinking, so I have to feel that little promise he made for himself, too. Did he, did he overcome his grief over his family? Maybe? Did he resolve that? His internal, like, turmoil? Was that resolved? No? He, he killed, like, the mayor of Brazil. Of Sao Paulo. Brazil's a big fucking place, Sao Paulo. I did kill a few thousand, didn't I? I had 2,500. I know that number showed up. <laughs> Dude, I committed genocide in this small fucking town. Yeah. Did you actually look up the population number of Brazil? I'm gonna get water while this plays, I'll be back. Talk about my thoughts on Max Payne, having played it for the last three days here. <laughs> what an ending! office administration. Oh, that's the Metacritic score for the game, 87%. What well, would I rate it if I had to numerically quantify my fun with the game? Uh, well, that's presume, presuming I'm buying it at $60, right? And not the $5 I spent. <laughs> if I actually had to buy it as a $60 affair, I mean, it, it does have multiplayer. I, I, I dabbled in it when I wasn't streaming. 
during the day when you know people would actually be playing the multiplayer and it's it's neat but you can't really use bullet time in the multiplayer so half the appeal of the game is in the bullet time so it's neat but it's not not something i'd really spend too much time with if i want to play that type of multiplayer i'd just play grand theft auto online that's like a more complete package i think that also uses a euphoria engine so it's it's a similar enough experience without bullet time Yeah, but as far as the shooting went though, I mean, it was like fear levels of awesome. It was that awesome, the shooting and the ragdolling, it was... The, the shooting was done really well, the gunplay they handled impeccably. Uh, the, the gif is in the intro. It was there like two days ago, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Come on now. Oh, is that what they call the whole engine? Rage? That might be it. It, the ragdolling uses euphoria, I think, but rage is what it's all the rage. Yeah, your gift's awesome, man. Damn, there were a lot of people involved with the making of this game. Eighty seven percent on Metacritic. What what are the big what do the big reviewers give it? Like I'm curious. What are the IGNs and the game spots and the uh what else is big nowadays? I'm not sure, there's only two I know offhand. What do they give Max Payne 3? You know, I heard this Max Payne didn't do that well, though. I heard it didn't it didn't sell that well. My god, that is a lot of people behind this game. It was really triple A.
I just want to see if there's some bonus cutscene at the end, you know? <laughs> Having watched it, Cloak, what would you rate the game? Actually, I think the credits are needlessly elongated because, like, their their font has so many spaces between every every header, <laughs> like two names and then all this space. Well, of course you would, Cloak. You weren't playing. Got a 6.5, that's rough. No, but on a 10 point scale, that means it's above average. Wow, is that brothers working in the same department? That's pretty awesome. Sam Hauser, Dan Hauser. <laughs> what did you think about the cover system? <laughs> that was a fun mechanic. Steve Guyami. That, that name sounds familiar. Steve Guyami. Laszlo! Laszlo. That guy's behind a lot of work in GTA games. What is that witchcraft? Good lord, these credits. 
They're among the longest I've seen, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, the, la the last boss was weird. Now we get Rockstar Lincoln Department. Fight a tank with one arm. I mean, it's it's kind of weird to have the last boss be a driving segment. I don't think any of the other Max Paynes had a really memorable last boss. I think Max Payne 1 had a weak one. I think Max Payne 2 did better as a last boss, but... I think it's a little hard to create last bosses in games that aren't any fantasy element. Like, it's the, the last boss isn't a monster, it's a man. So... You've killed many, man. How do you make this one man special? It's tough. They, 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 they kind of worked with it, though. They, they did things. They did things with their bosses. Thankfully, only one was a quick time event. That is, I mean, all these names, that's a lot of people behind this game. You'd have to sell a shit ton of copies to... Oh, here we get the cast, the most important part. To get return on investment. James McCaffrey. That is Max Payne. Babs. IT guy, Dylan Porter. Favela kid. Mona Sex! What? She had a line? Vladimir. Oh, those are multiplayer characters. That's not funny, man. Max Payne's wife is dead. That was his daughter. Yeah, but you you see what I'm saying. You could you could mutate him, you could put him in a mech, you could make him some hostage fight, but you got to do something to make the bad the the bad guy a super bad guy. They had one Portuguese consultant, and he still got that weird herido dañado line wrong. Well, Cloak, I need ideas for the next game. What's after Gunpoint? Gunpoint's a very short game, man. The pedestrians were directed? Were they actors in game? That's neat. Producers? 
I see a typo in your credits. Yeah, that Laszlo guy does a lot of creative work here. He does TV shows and radio. Writes a lot of that. Oh, I never saw the Amori Damas program. That's a shame. I don't own that game. Health managed by Jake Freedom, we are free. Gatas, 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 gatas. AC Slater. You're bereft of ideas, Cloak. <laughs> Sequels to games. I'll find something. Oh, I think it's ending. I think it's done. Risk of Rain's a great game, but it's kind of multiplayer. That was it. That was Max Payne. I could now play it in arcade. What does New York Minute do? Oh, it ranks you. Okay, that's cool. That's that's a version of replayability. What did I not accomplish? I didn't shoot enough bullets. Did 
so close. Is there anyone playing multiplayer? This is cool because you can change your character. That's Mona Sax. But I can also be is uh oh I gotta unlock it? Where's Vladimir? Uh, I gotta unlock Vladimir. Baseball bat boy. Ah, oh, there's Vladimir. <laughs> he still has his constipated face. That's awesome. That's it. That is Max Payne in a nutshell, my friend. You'd give it a 6.5 out of 10. Well, now that I beat it, what would I give it? Hmm. I don't know. I would definitely not give it a 9 out of 10. That implies close to perfection when, I mean, I think the strongest part of this game was its gunplay. It had a great gameplay. I mean, one could say, if a game has good gameplay, that's all it needs, right? Like, that's all any game needs, good gameplay, because that's the core of a gaming experience. But, it had good gunplay that was marred by fucking cutscenes every two feet. I couldn't walk anywhere without Max Payne triggering a plot door, or a plot hallway, or, or a plot segment of some sort. And the neatest segments, like jumping into a helicopter and jumping on catwalks, was all initiated through a cutscene. It was, uh... Yeah, that, would, that marred it. I mean, when the gunplay was there, it was great. But then even the level design... There were a few brilliant levels with some great design and great little, like, office scenarios for shooting. But then there was, like, the favela segment, where it was so friggin' linear and corridor shooting, and that was not very enjoyable. So, yeah. Plus, there was always that finickiness of whenever Max jumps. Whenever he jumps and hits anything at all, it wrecks your bullet time, and then you're stuck in that ground animation. And... That ground animation killed me so many times. So many times, because you really can't get up from that in, in a hurry. You, you have to cross your fingers if they don't shoot you in such a position. Uh, yeah. I can't really talk about the cover system, because I never fucking used it, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, the gunplay was great, aside from those, like, those things, and it... They were wonderful scenarios. It really felt like an action movie video game, but... Oh, man, that plot. That plot... I don't even look, I feel like Max is like shaking his head like what the fuck am I doing here in Brazil? He's kind of like <laughs> scratching his head wondering what he's doing out here. Even when, even when it's all said and done, what, 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 what did he do out here? He just killed Brazilians. He, there was like, he just feels so out of place in this game. Like, yeah, there was his, his grief. It related to things? Sort of? It didn't relate enough to be resolved. We forgot about that. At the end of it all, it was kind of weird. He really was just going on, like, this rampage just to go on a rampage, because fuck Victor. Screw those rich guys who hired me. <laughs> I didn't defend anyone, but yeah. Screw those guys, you know? You, you used me, so I'm gonna destroy your Pueblo. <laughs> and wreck your airport! Good lord! It was just kind of too nonsensical, you know? It didn't, it didn't have much purpose. I don't think Max had much purpose, and that's a shame. A Max Payne game without much plot is, is, is just wasted potential, man. Plus the incessant talking. I will say this. Max Payne was an asshole this game. He was totally unlikable. That's, that's, that, that's what really gets me. I, I, I couldn't dig Max Payne. He was always likable. 
as as this silly Dwyer hero. But here he was detestable, man. So like he was so self pitying and and just like hateful towards others and judgmental and motherfucker, motherfucker blabbed. Blabbed all the time. Yeah. I wouldn't give it a nine out of ten. I think I think something around seven out of ten is more reasonable. The production values are insane. But saying it's a nine out of ten means this is almost a perfect game. But you want to say that about a game that's like 40% cutscene, 60% gameplay? That's, that's, this is not a good template for a game. Yeah, the gunplay was a stellar, but there were still some frustrating segments, and I don't know, there was just so much hand-holding and directing. Like, I felt like I played within the play pens they allowed me to play in, and then they, they ushered me into the next area. And that's, I don't know. That's, that's more of a cinematic gaming experience, but it's not good gaming, I think, at its core. He only did care about the rich hot ones. There were some hot pedestrians. He didn't give two fucks about them. I swear, I shot, I know, I, when I killed 2,500 people, I must have shot a pedestrian. At some level. At the disco, at the favelas, at the airport, somewhere. <laughs> and I didn't bat an eye. I'm sure that happens, and I'm sure there's no fail condition for that. It, I, we have to have killed him. And even if he didn't shoot them, guys shooting at him, inadvertently, some pedestrians were caught in the crossfire. Yeah, you can't really blame that on Max, but you, you have no reason for being there, so their death is kind of on you, man. They, they really did, uh, they did car segments really great. The driving segments and all that shit, that was wonderful. They, they did those, those, did those really nicely. But the end boss was kind of ridiculous. It was, I didn't get the end boss. Nor did I like that it was a driving segment for the end boss. That was kind of weird. Uh, that was just like, I don't know, the, 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 the end boss driving segment was a bit silly. But... <laughs> How else do you give it to get an end boss? Yeah, 6.57, what's the difference? What's the difference? If we have to use a scale and it has some value, I think a seven would be good. Then you have to think about the multiplayer and then the replayability, which I wouldn't want to replay this game solely because Cutscenes. I think there's a mode here where you can play the game without any cutscene, intro or exit, but I'm sure you still have to suffer the in-game cutscenes because those set up your next area. And that's like, eh. I think I purposely tried to shoot a pedestrian in the favelas, but they were, they were poor people. So they don't, they're, are they really people if they're poor? <laughs> According to this game, they're not. They are not. I mean, it was fun for five bucks. I'm glad I played it. I, I think Remedy handled the Max Payne license way better than Rockstar did. But Rockstar does know how to make an exciting game, though. That shooting was pretty fun. That shooting was pretty fun. So it's an imperfect game marred by its own, like, cutscene-ness. <laughs> its own fascination with telling you the story instead of having you experience it. Buy it. Buy it. 